Hi Travelers, Tara here. I promised everybody over on Twitter that I was going to be doing an open reading today and this is going to be a short open reading. I went and got my second COVID shot and I'm feeling a little wonky. It's completely different from the first shot. By the way, that was the Moderna vaccine that I got as well. Um, I also had a really interesting um, delayed skin reaction from the first one. It left like, um, looked like on my around the trunk of my body looked like it was like a shingles like rash CDC wasn't reporting that here but I, I noticed that a lot of doctors in Europe were reporting that and um, I ended up going to the emergency room because I didn't know what was happening and the doctor went through all of the spiel you know and I, I've never had chicken pox in fact I've, I've been vaccinated twice against chicken pox once when I was in elementary school and then of course when I joined the military they just vaccinate you when you get in there so um, there was no way I hadn't been around anybody who had shingles. So there's really no way that I could have been exposed to shingles. So the only new thing that I've introduced into my system was the vaccine. And it started probably about seven to 10 days after the first shot. And it continued on for like a couple of weeks. I literally just woke up one morning, got ready to get in the shower, took my clothes off and boom, I had this rash all around. It didn't itch. It didn't burn. It didn't ooze. It didn't None of that stuff that you would expect to go on with shingles or chicken pox. And, and then it's now it's resolving itself. So I'm hoping <laughs> that I don't get it again. Um, and so we shall see. But I, I do feel a little wonky in my head. It's the weirdest thing. I kind of feel, well, those of you who've been with me for a while know, strange things go on sometimes with mediumship. And I honestly felt as though when they injected me this time, almost as if uh, a part of my spirit left my body. It's all trapped in here. It's just the weirdest thing. I've never had that experience before. Hopefully I won't have to have it again. But anyway, to make a long story short, I'd promised everybody over on Twitter that I was gonna do a short reading. So here we are. And I'm gonna be taking a three day break after today um, because I don't know exactly how I'm going to react to the vaccine. Um, most people said the second shot, they got flu-like symptoms, chills, headaches. Some people said they had nausea and diarrhea. Mm, I don't know, but I went and got my Pedialyte. I got my, uh, Tylenol. I have plenty of broth. And so I'm just going to kick back for the next three days. There are some things I can be working on loading up those three free classes that I promised you to the website. And so, uh, I got to figure out how to do it. And so, <laughs> Um, that's pretty much it. And so I just wanted to go ahead and be a woman of my word and give you these, this new reading. So today we're going to be using the Prisma Vision Tarot. You guys remember this? I bought this deck back in what, 2015. I looked at it for the longest time and I finally broke down and bought it. Additionally, oh, this camera. Additionally. I, I don't know what this is. I, I paid three grand for this stupid iPad and the thing, I MacBook, and the camera keeps shutting off. Anyway, um, additionally, I'm going to be clarifying today with the Neapolitans, okay? Haven't used these in a while either. And then we'll wrap the reading up with the tarot, uh, Psychic Oracle Tarot. So I'm just going to turn the camera around, and we're going to go ahead and... Uh, All of my new subscribers uh, and folks who've gotten readings from me over the past couple of weeks, I really want to thank you guys so much for uh, coming on over and um, allowing me the opportunity to read for you. It's been really great. I've met so many people from around the world, Spain, uh, the UK, uh, I want to say Ohio, but I know that's not right, um, Australia. Um, I met, I met, I've met so many wonderful people. So I want to thank you guys so much for that. So let's go ahead and get directly into the reading. We have the eight of wands. Now I know that's another thing about this stupid computer MacBook pro three grand. And I got a crappy camera. There's no zoom. There's nothing. So I got to get it, go out and get an external camera. So there's the eight of wands. Oh, wow. The Eight of Chalices or Cups. And I think that's an interesting card because you can see the person uh, standing. He's leaning on the Eight Cups there and he's looking at the swirl, this vortex 
Now, normally this is a cup card and you would think that there would be blue in the card, but it's actually this red, like all of these emotions, this fire, this passion, this anger flying through the air here. The gift card has come out. This deck has 73 cards and this is uh, the card that says um, something wonderful is about to, the universe is about to give you something wonderful so you need to be in a place where you can receive it. <laughs> My mom, I have to call her back. And then she's going to call right back. I know she is. And the nine of pentacles. <laughs> Mom, I'm in the middle of doing, I'm doing a reading. Let me call you right back. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to do this nine of chalices here. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to put that there in the center because that's where it wants to be. I'm going to pull two more cards. This star card. And the ace of wands. Wow. Wow. What is under the deck? The Eight of Pentacles. There are three pentacles here. Um, I don't know who this card is for, who this spread is for. But what the card is saying, what the spread is saying is that something is on the way in. It's coming in very, very quickly. The meanings of these cards do not change. The Eight of Wands. Now, what we see are these flowers here in this very, very dark wood. But then you see the energy. It's almost like a snake, right? Coming up. We could say that's the Kundalini fire. Coming up this particular branch here. Whatever this thing is, it is going to allow an opportunity for you to release and express whatever old things you've been hanging on to in your life. I do get the sense that many of you are uh, in some way, you know, the, the, the pentacles are not necessarily always about finances. But if we're going to talk about those finances, it says that you can, you have even in this economy, been able to, in a sense, kind of move forward and prosper. Now, I know this message doesn't relate to everybody in that sense. So what I'm going to say to you, to those of you who may have lost a job or your work, work has dried up a little bit, um, that this is really the idea of not about your finances, but what it is you are doing or how you are doing it. So the nine says that you've reached a certain place. Nines are a moment of like a sort of like a seven. It's a moment of pause and reflection before you move forward. And what we see is this figure. She's sitting out in her garden. There you see her home up on the hill there. But I don't know. Can you see that falcon or that bird of prey there on her shoulder? She's sitting out naked in her garden. And I think this is the idea about placing yourself or putting yourself in an environment or place where you can become grounded. Look over the things you've done in the past. Because this is definitely telling me that something is about to change. And I think this is going to be on, mm, I don't want to necessarily say a worldwide scale, but there is something in the air. Um, I sense this. So this is about grounding yourself in such a way Hopefully you've been using this time frame where things have been extremely slow, if not have come to a standstill altogether, to really go back over and look at all of the things you've been doing, to see what seeds you've already planted, because you're about to get an opportunity, and I, I can't give you a necessarily a timing, but you're about to get an opportunity to perhaps move forward again. So the little hawk on the shoulder is this idea of getting a bird's eye view. 
In order to get that bird's eye view though, you're gonna have to be grounded, okay? There's no air energy here. This is all uh, wands and a pentacle. I've got this one major arcana card, the star card. And if you look at that, <clears throat> They, they are stars in the sky. They look as though either they are trailing, like they're flying around, but it could also, it, to me it always looks like lotuses growing up out of this space. Um, being reflected back, that's what it looks like. So to me, now we know that the uh, star card usually represents the clarity of things. It represents our hopes, our wishes. It is, uh, they point us in the direction, sometimes if we feel lost. Um, but also, it speaks to the cosmology of it. So there's going to be um, some major transits, and I know that we're coming up on the Aries weather. Um, and that's an event that I'm going to be uh, sitting in on with Jessica Adams. It's April 9th. It'll be here on YouTube. So please go over to Jessica Adams's uh, channel and subscribe so you can get notified of um, when that's coming in. If I'm not mistaken, I think it is on YouTube. It is. And then you can also go to my website. I have a, a, a list up of live events on the menu so that you can write all of these out. So something is about to change and something is about to shift. What is over this whole reading is this Eight of Pentacles. This is about tending your own garden right planting those seeds and so i think back was it 2017 2018 i kept telling a lot of you that you should really start to plant your seeds now okay <clears throat> jupiter's making these treks and anytime you want to know where you can find luck or opportunity look to the house in which jupiter is transiting in your chart so something is about to change we just have the big jupiter saturn uh, an Aquarius conjunction. That was the first time that those two uh, planets have been together in an air sign. This The whole air thing, that when they meet up again, it's going to be an air sign. So that was like seven or 800 years ago. So this is something big and something major. And I think it's going to have more of an influence on a worldwide scale. We have this funny ace of wands, which even looks like a, a penis, if you'll pardon me saying so but it stands strong and it stands proud, right? And aces are all opportunities. And so it's saying to me, I think the most important card in this, in this spread is this eight of cups. And I do feel that for many of you, which is understandable that you are in a, I don't wanna say a crisis situation, but you're really kind of in a, it feels like maybe you might be in a twilight zone. You're not exactly sure what your next step is, what your next move is. In fact, the COVID-19, this year-long break that everybody under on the planet's been under, has really given us time to reflect and to think about uh, what is important in our lives. Uh, where do we see ourselves? Where do we fit in in the grand scheme of things? And so now is not the time to lament things of the past because they are of the past. And something else is coming that I think will refresh and renew us all. This gift card, <laughs> it's kind of funny, even the way I'm looking at it, it's like the, the key has been dropped down into the water, but the fish is not even chasing it or looking at it. He's kind of just looking at us. There may be some reference here to Pisces. There's two fish there swimming back and forth all the sea up and down not quite sure where you're going what are you chasing the key but it's already been given to you it's what my guides are telling me so i i i really want to uh caution you i don't like to make my readings too rosy and too optimistic obviously this can't be for everybody on earth right that does require a personal reading but just in terms of the general energy, worldwide, something new is trying to manifest itself. And indeed, it will manifest itself. So what I'm going to do, I want to take a look at this Eight of Chalices right quick. For some of you, this could be a new job opportunity. It could be a new opportunity to discover the path your last, 
your life path that you want to go on. I think that this, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that we still won't face challenges ahead in the year 2021, because we will, whether they be on a global scale or on a personal scale, there will be these challenges that we have. But nevertheless, it's time now for us to kind of look forward as much as we can and not lament what has happened in the past. And I know that for many people out there, you've lost loved ones. And so it could be very easy for me to sit here and say this, but I do want you to know that your loved ones would want you to look forward. They don't want you to look back. Our team of light or our spirit guides, and well, the people that we lose in our lives are not our spirit guides. Spirit guides are not family members and friends. Our team of light are our friends and family members that we've lost. And I do feel that some of you may be even getting messages from them, uh, little bitty signs. Maybe it's things that they liked a whole lot. Maybe it was a song, maybe it's a favorite color, maybe it's a flower, yeah, okay. Um, and they're trying to get your attention to let you know that it is okay. And uh, you should look forward. This Eight of Chalices really stands out to me. I just feel as though some of you feel extremely lost. The Three of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. This is the start of something new. There's one more thing that you need to do, and I don't know if this is one more thing you need to accept emotionally or purge emotionally, okay? But things won't get moving for you until you can come to grips by releasing and letting that go. Five, for some of you, it's going to be very hard to do. Remember, I'm talking to you about the physical plane. This is a time of change. This is what the fives represent ups and downs, uh, delays, uh, things just not going right. But if you can accept that something new is being handed to you, even if you don't have an idea of what that is and you don't know what, what I'm talking about and you don't have any signs and you don't know what's going, you're being asked to trust in the universe Ground yourself and get clear about where it is you want to go and what you want to do. And then you can grab this ace and move forward. You've got two aces here, in effect. And two aces always speak to a new partnership, engagement, even a proposal. Now, for some of you, this could be a new relationship. For some of you, it could be new friendships new family members, not those people necessarily who are related to you by blood, but you are brought together through the shared experiences that, that we've all been having. But also, uh, it could be a new business partnership for you. So I do want you to be very careful. There are no swords here. So I don't think that lots of people necessarily are, I, I can't really say that. Let me, let me rephrase that. I'm sure that there are some people who are very upset and distraught but I think what the cards are trying to say is that it's it's time now to let this go because something is really, these two cards together, and it will be happening quickly a lot faster than you think. Uh, we have the two eights or the three eights, actually the three eights. So let me give you the meaning of the uh, three eights here. Three eights can sometimes mean obstacles, hassles, and delays. But again, release that. This is changing. Um, and then two eights, let me, let me give it to you here, can imply that there's a slight concern in regards to a new romance, relationship, or partnership. Well, that could be coming up because this says that there's something coming up for you. That's what that says. It may be jerky. I can't hold the cards right. <laughs> it may be jerky and not exactly the way that you want it to be, right? It could be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't have potential. And that's what the ace is saying. So I'm going to leave you with that. This may not be, oh no, I'm not. I'm gonna pull one 
Psychic Oracle Tarot. So I would like for everyone out there who's watching this to formulate a question. You may not get your question answered, but somebody will. So formulate a question. You've been working really hard. Whatever this thing is, you deserve it. Accept it. Sometimes it's hard for us to accept good things in our lives. We don't trust it. We, we're not used to that feeling. You know what I mean? Trust it. All right. Here we go. <laughs> the number four, the firm foundation. Now, I don't know if some of you are experiencing tension, back problems, whatnot. Um, I think if you would release whatever the emotional energy is around this and accept whatever the new emotional opportunity, the freshness to come into your life, this may help. So this is a four of wands. And the card says, if I can find it because I can never... I don't know why they got color in here and then the book's all in black and white. And it's it's kind of weird for me and it, it gives me difficulty finding what I'm looking for. So here we go. The firm foundation. It denotes that you have already or are currently working toward establishing a solid foundation in the material world. Using good judgment and heeding lessons from the past concerning financial matters will assist you in laying a firm groundwork. By doing so, security will have a better chance of building in the future. I'm telling you, something's coming. The material power that is now around you can either be an advantage or a disadvantage, depending on how you respond to it. Do not allow your current position to determine who you are. Remember to give back and prime the pump of prosperity for true spiritual and material wealth is as much about giving as it is receiving. Do seek proper investment advice and realize that you don't have to hold on to your possessions too tightly. Be flexible and allow things to continue to flow. I don't know if um, many of you have ever heard me say, sometimes we have to just chuck things in our life, right? Maybe things that we do have some type of attachment to but you can't grab anything new if you're still holding on to the old. So sometimes this is about looking at what really is adding a value to your life, to your emotional health, your mental health, your spiritual health, and releasing those things. And once you release it, the universe will replace it with something usually better. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for you. I do hope this message helps you and it holds you over until I come back from my little mini vacation, my recoup vacation. I'm already working on the April readings. I'm almost done with those. So until next time, please be kind to yourselves, love yourselves, and take care of yourself. Stay safe, and I will see you soon. Namaste. Bye.